Okay. Good morning, Sean. Uh, good morning, Tino. Good morning, panelists. Uh, I can't wait to tell you where we've been and, and hopefully where we're going uh, today. Uh, you've caught us at, a, at just a brilliant moment uh, in the world of uh, interventional radiology. We'll start uh, with today's uh, patient uh, going to Michael Gordon, Dr. Michael Gordon, one of our fellows, who will give you a brief uh, vignette on uh, our patient today. Thanks, Sean. Uh, get the next slide. This is a 59-year-old male with a history of esophageal cancer, a status post uh, surgical resection of the esophagus with gastric pull-through. He was found in 2007 to have pulmonary metastases as well as a solitary liver metastasis. And he underwent chemotherapy and he had near complete resolution of his pulmonary lesions, but uh, a lack of response within the single hepatic lesion. You can see that his uh, chemotherapy is displayed there. He was scheduled for an RF ablation of this right hepatic lesion in, earlier in January, but a CT scan performed at that time showed a significant increase in size of this liver mass. So here you can see circled in, in yellow uh, is the mass initially in, uh, in 5 of 2008. It was about 4 centimeters in size, and uh, in January it was almost 10 centimeters in size. So their plan changed at that point from an RF ablation to a chemoembolization. Of course, I'd be fascinated to hear uh, the panelists' uh, viewpoint on that. It's a, it's a complicated story that the, this gentleman's functional status is, is excellent. Yeah, no weight loss, no constitutional symptoms. I uh, appreciated Bill Rilling's comments earlier on, on following this aspect of a patient's care. Uh, he is taking no meds. Uh, he developed problems uh, in, in, with his chemotherapy, with thrombocytopenia. He has had a cholecystectomy and a uh, splenectomy at the time of his esophageal, uh, his gastric pull-through. And what I'd like to do um, first is just sort of take you through the, the history of where we've been here uh, on this arteriogram. Maybe it points to uh, the fact that uh, maybe we, we could have gotten more imaging ahead of time, uh, but let's, uh, let's take a look through. I'm going to sort of start from the beginning here. We did do an expert CT. Perhaps we can show monitor A there, and uh, I don't know if there, uh, with the expert CT, it, you know, the, the resolution is not as, uh, perhaps not as good as a, uh, as a regular CT, of course, but uh, is adequate really for us to tell uh, post chemoembolization uh, that we've gotten a good stain in the tumor mass. Now, uh, I, let's come back to monitor C, please. And I'm, I'm going to scroll through here, at least I think I am, um, some of where we've been. So here's our run of the uh, SMA. You did see that correctly. That was the SMA. And if you're like me, you kind of looked at that and said, oh, dear. And when I was referring earlier to a, a careful scrutiny of the images, obviously they've ligated, uh, they ligated his celiac. At the time of splenectomy, they also ligated the, the common hepatic. I'm not sure why. Uh, and you can see the stump of it there. And so that led us uh, down the primrose path. Uh, and I'll just quickly, uh, and you can see perhaps in that run, the, the um, I'm sorry, I'm toggling back and forth here. You can see the uh, stump there. I, I assume that's coming through, Tino. Yes, we can see it pretty well. Yeah, there, that yeah and this is, in. and everyone will recognize that, that uh, there was, a com probably a combination here that there was a, a replaced right hepatic uh, or an accessory hepatic. There is no celiac that, that we could discern. Uh, and the entire uh, hepatic supply, he doesn't have a, an enormous uh, left lobe, as you may have uh, gathered. His empire, entire hepatic supply is coming off these two, you know, the, at, at zero degrees, at, at, at uh, 12 noon and 6 o'clock there, those two branches. And our wire caught the upper one. Um, and it, just to, to prove that, we did an aortogram. To, I, I won't walk you through that just in the interest of time. Um, we're just going to walk through some, some runs here as I was sort of struggling to figure out what to do. 
not that it was a huge struggle